Good afternoon, A-level students. Today, we delve into the intricate worlds of the endocrine system, a fascinating network of glands and hormones that orchestrate the symphony of communications within our bodies. Join me as we unravel the secret behind this regulatory powerhouse, exploring its vital roles in monitoring balance and harmony in the human organism. The mammalian endocrine system. The endocrine system comprises various endocrine glands and this organ contains cells that release hormones. These hormones are directly secreted into the bloodstream, unlike other glands such as salivary glands, which relieve saliva into adult. Hormones secreted by endocrine glands are transported in the blood plasma throughout the body. Packet cells, which have receptors for this hormone, on their cell surface membrane, respond to the hormonal sickness. For instance, the cells lining the collecting ducts in the nephrons are example of target cells for anti-diuretic hormone ADH. The regulations of blood glucose concentrations aim to maintain a relatively constant value, approximately 100 mg of glucose, 100 centimeter cube of blood. If the blood glucose concentration falls well below this level, the condition is referred to as hypoglycemia. In such instances, cells lack sufficient glucose for respiration, hindering normal metabolic reactions. Brain cells, in particular, rely solely on glucose as a respiratory substrate. Severe hypoglycemia can lead to unconsciousness and potential damage to various tissue. When blood glucose concentration rise significantly, it leads to a condition called hyperglycemic. The elevated glucose level reduces the water potentials of both blood and tissue fluid causing water to move out of cells along a water potential gradient. This can result in unconsciousness for the affected person. Let's look into the pancreas. Insulin and glucagon, both small proteins play key roles in regulating blood glucose concentration through negative feedback. These hormones are secreted by specific patches of tissue known as islets of Langerhans in the pancreas. Insulin is released by beta cells, while glucagon is produced by the alpha cells. When blood glucose concentration rises too high, beta cells sense this and respond by secreting greater quantities of insulin into the blood. Insulin in turn has several effects. First, muscle and adipose tissue cells or fat cells are stimulated to absorb more glucose from the bloodstream. Simultaneously, liver cells undergo the process of converting glucose into glycogen for storage, and these combined actions lead to a decrease in the blood glucose concentration. When the blood glucose concentration drops, the alpha cell sends the low levels and respond by releasing increased amount of glucagon into the bloodstream. This prompts liver cells to break down 
glycogen into glucose and produce glucose from substances like amino acids or lipids. Ultimately, elevating blood glucose concentration, meaning that blood glucose concentration is increasing. That's all for today's presentations regarding the mammalian endocrine system. Please don't forget to subscribe to Jom Study Law YouTube channel. Hope with these presentations, you have an idea about mammalian endocrine system. Hope to see you in the next presentation and wish you all the luck in your study. Thank you very much.